we would like to do a little something uh, that we call scene tag. The way it works, uh, in this case, we'll have uh, two different groups of two doing a scene uh, based on a suggestion, and then why don't I do a uh, monologue based off of a suggestion. So any group will begin a scene, and then Let's anyone else can jump in by clapping their hands and begin with the exact line of dialogue from the scene before it. So let's go through and hear what we'll be inspired by. Great, Eileen and I are gonna be inspired by Gail from Portland, Oregon. And um, Gail, her hobby is she's learning to play her ukulele. So we will be uh, basing our scene on the ukulele. Great, I'll be inspired by Leonard from Montgomery, Alabama. He's a level four. Coffee makes him think of morning and his hobby is fishing. So I will be addressing a group of fish. And uh, Rachel and I's uh, improvisation will be uh, inspired by a level five all the way from Springfield, Missouri. Uh, her name is Darla and she likes to drink coffee with her pajamas on. So our scene will be inspired by pajamas. And we will begin with this scene. Okay, all right, Gail, now you're sure you're ready for this? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, excellent, because you go on in about three minutes, all right? Well, I have always been a jack of all trades. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, you know, you do, you're, you're going to require strings on your ukulele. Uh, did you bring in any strings or another ukulele? No, I didn't. Okay, okay, all right, calm down. <laughs> I, it's okay. All right, all right, calm down. Now, I know I've been catching you for a while, but I had a dream last night, and I really changed my stripes. So we're going to work on ways of keeping you away from guys like me. I know I got, a little, I got a lot of tricks up my sleeve. I got a lot of shiny things that you like to eat, and I'm going to teach you that you got to stay away from those things. I got my fish call that brings you guys like wildfire, and I'm going to teach you to recognize the sound of my call. I'm gonna teach you to recognize the sound of my call. Okay, that sounds nice. I just appreciated that you asked me over, you being so popular and all. Well, you know, I like to have pajama parties with just two people. Well, <laughs> I feel very special, you Freeze. know? Freeze! I feel very special, okay. and I feel like that can overcome anything. Okay, uh, all right, um, I, I, I hear what you're saying, Gail, and I understand, I know who you are and everything. It's just that this is a solo show, mm -hmm. and people have paid $200 a ticket, okay? Yeah. So I, I understand that you're special, but I'm just not yeah. sure that special is what they're here for. I think they're... <laughs> I understand that you're special, and maybe you are a prince trapped in that body. I can't tell. You keep saying that, but all you guys keep saying that. You can't all be princes trapped by... You can't all be princes, mm. I hope you say to me. <laughs> I mean, if that's what it takes to get you to stop shutting me in a locker, then you're a prince. You're a prince. Oh, well, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I'd have to check the family tree, but No, I, you I, are. I that's why I, I hired you. I checked for you. Oh. I checked, and you're a prince, so make me your princess. Okay. <laughs> you're a prince. So make me your princess. Freeze. Make me your princess. Oh. Princess. Freeze. Princess. Freeze. Princess. 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 That was the name of my dog. <laughs> Yay! Um, you know what? Let's get some chairs out here and some humans. Chair. Humans and chairs. Only three. Three chairs and. Three humans, three humans. Um, and each chair requires a piece of paper upon yep. it. Hot dog. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna play a good old fashioned game of musical chairs to highlight the fabulous Boaz Reisman, who's with us for a while. Uh, so here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna walk around these chairs while the music plays, and then whoever's not sitting when music stops has to sing a song. So Boaz, let her rip. inspired by Jeremiah, who's a level four, uh, from 29 Palms, California. You know what I'm talking about. Well, now, All right. Coffee makes him think of mornings in 
Iowa. Okay. Excellent. Now Eileen's going to need a style of music to really get her going. So any style from uh, reggae to honky tonk. Honky tonk. <laughs> Excellent. Honky tonk. Do it up, Boaz. Here we go. Now. All right. My name is Jeremiah, and I'm from California. In fact, I come from the land that's got 29 palms. Hey, when I'm drinking my coffee, it makes me think of the mornings in Iowa, not the afternoons and not the evenings and not the night times. Oh, I like making and painting model cars. I don't care about regular size cars. Who needs a car? They're not good for the environment. I like to drink coffee with some cookies, like Oreos, Chips Ahoy, or some Nutter Butters. I'm Jeremiah. Hey, yeah, you are. And we're back. <laughs> All right, three helmets, two chairs, one pianist. Let it go. I'm going. She started. I'm cutting. There's no order to this. <laughs> Stay on the inside track or lose. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, all right. I will be singing a song inspired by Kaylee, who's a level four from Langley Air Force Base. Uh, thank you, thank you for living on an Air Force Base, which likely means you are either yourself or attached to someone who is serving this country. So, yeah. Um, coffee makes uh, Kaylee think of relaxing days, sitting on the porch in Florida with my family and friends, and uh, her hobbies are singing and being a coffee snob. All right, Kaylee, you and I would be friends. Uh, so I just need a style of music to sing in. Any style of music. Country Western, Country Western it is. about my coffee you broke my heart when i said i wanted to drink it with splenda cream nutmeg and cinnamon because you once were married to cinnamon and you said i could not have my own personal relationship with cinnamon you said one cinnamon was enough and i said well that is tough Cause I can't drink my coffee without it Because I'm a coffee snob I am a coffee snob Living here in Florida Oops, no in Virginia But I sit on a patio in Florida As a coffee snob With my cinnamon Like something big and hairy and hardcore. So what is your inspiration? We will be inspired by Nicole, <laughs> a level three from Fargo, North Dakota. Coffee makes her think of waking up. And she loves, or she, her hobby is the roller derby. Ooh, yeah! Wait, we give you this power rock ballad. <laughs> Sun's coming up. A lady wakes, she looks at the coffee and she takes a sip, and then she laces up her boots, and then she scoots to the roller derby. So 
if you're skating and you look over your shoulder, see a force coming down on you like a boulder, it would be 